Hi everyone, happy Thursday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Mosaic Basketball Fast Break Edition. Just dropped yesterday. Two box, random team break number three. One spot gets you three teams in this two box break and all card ship. Big thanks to this group here for making it happen. Let's triple you up. There's one, there's two, and there's three. All 30 NBA teams are in. Let's roll it, randomize it, names and teams. Four and a three, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. John down to Harry after seven. Four and a three, seven times for the teams. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and final time. Good luck. After seven, we got the Pistons on the pole and the Clippers in the 30 spot. John with the Pistons, Nick with my Lakers, Jesse with the Rockets and Wizards, Nick with the Grizz, Darren with the Nuggets, Sean with the Spurs, Darren with the Mavs, John with the Jazz, Jesse with the Hawks and the Sixers, C. Birch with the Pacers, Darren with the Charlotte Hornets, Nick with the Heat and the Cavs, Barry with the Kings, Jesse with the Celtics, Harry with the Suns and the Thunder, John with the Raptors, Nick Stover, Timberwolves, Steve with the Bucks, Barry with the Knicks, Nick with the Warriors, Steve with the Bulls, Sean Maddock with the Nets, Barry with the Blazers, Maddock with the Magic, Jesse with the Pelicans, and Harry with the Los Angeles Clippers. It's alphabetized by team. I'm going to pause the video. We're going to allow uh, people to trade if they'd like. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have this, uh, this two-box break right there. Be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so that list you saw on the previous screen is now printed out, official, hot off the presses, and ready to go. All right, thanks, everyone. There you go, fast break exclusive autograph, fast break parallels, all sorts of good stuff here. What's kind of odd is that it has the H2 symbol on the pack, though. It's a fast break. Box. Do they usually do that? That's generally for hybrid, but maybe they've been doing that. I just haven't realized it. Let's see what's going on in the NBA while we're at it. Let's see. Let's check out the scoreboard here. I think my Lakers are playing a little bit later tonight as well. All right, it's a final in Philadelphia. The Hawks, Atlanta Hawks, edged out the Sixers 98-96. to Embiid had 23 points, 10 rebounds, a couple assists. I like the uh, Onyeka Okongwu. Looking all right. 13 points, 8 rebounds, and a few assists. Like that. That's, that's one to look out for. In Orlando, the Pelicans edged out the uh, Beat the Magic. I don't know why this ESPN scoreboard keeps refreshing. I don't want you to refresh. 110 to 104. Cole Anthony, 22 points, 5 rebounds, 11 assists. Hopefully we'll see a lot of Cole Anthony's pop out of here. Brandon Ingram at 31 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Rockets in Indiana. Pacers beat the Rockets 118-106. to Christian Wood to 22 points, 8 rebounds. Miles Turner, 32 points, 10 rebounds, and an assist. Has there been some talk about the Pacers kind of blowing it up? Maybe moving someone like Miles Turner? I don't know. Those are those three games are your 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 only finals. We'll 
check on the other games in progress in the next box. All right, good luck, everybody. Those are your, that's your fast break parallel there. Jay Sean Tate's been playing all right, too. There's uh, Trey Burke as well, 30 out of 50. Trey Burke for Dallas. That's going to go to Darren. And the Jay Sean Tate will go to Jesse. Tyrese Maxey, rookie, fast break parallel. There's Cole Anthony. 22 points, 5 rebounds, 11 assists. Here's our first of hopefully many LaMelo balls for Darren Porter. The Porterhouse Steak. And a James Weisman. Fast break, parallel. And I believe a variation because it was flipped around like that. So there you go, Nick Stober, Warriors. There's a Congo who had a nice game today. Jesse with Atlanta. There's Jordan and Wara, 7 out of 85. Yeah, Jonathan Taylor's got a lot of yards already. He may get to get to that two thousand by the time all said and done, especially with that extra game that we have this season. Tyrese Halliburton NBA debut. Barry Roberts with the Kings. There's a National Pride James Weissman. Anthony Edwards, nice. Paul Pierce. Purple Paul Pierce. 41 out of 50 for the Celtics. Jesse and Anthony Edwards. That is for Nick Stober and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Timberwolves are playing right now. Is Anthony Edwards playing? I thought he was in protocol maybe. Yeah, I think he might still be out. That goes to Nick, having a great season. There's your autograph. It's Isaiah Ryder for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Remember him? Nick Stober. Obi Toppin for the Knicks, Barry. That would upset you if you were a former player? Yeah. Yeah. The extra game always always messes things up, so we have, we have to like recalibrate. We have to recalibrate all of the way we like look at like touchdowns, passing yards, all that sort of stuff. I have a feeling they'll probably they'll probably get to uh, they'll probably get to eighteen games. I think the owners probably want like twenty games. Let's 
So I think at least for the next handful of years, while we're kind of recalibrating how we look at these records, I think a lot of a lot of times we're gonna have to look at averages. You know, yeah, Cooper Cup could have 150 receptions here, which is crazy to think about. But with that extra game, we have to, we have to almost look at it, break it down into receptions per game, and kind of look at it that way. So it's like, sure, Cooper Cup beats whoever's receptions record it is. Who, who's reception, who holds that receptions in a season record? Randy Moss, maybe? Calvin Johnson? But yeah, ultimately, I think you kind of have to look at it as, as like we have to divide up how many receptions, and you can kind of, kind of go well. Yeah, that many receptions sounds great, but how many receptions a game was it? You know, you have to start splitting hairs like that. I guess good for good for us in sports talk radio. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of conversation about that. But ultimately, I don't think I could be too excited about about um, at least not not for not right now now I'm sure my, my position on this will soften as we get used to that 17 game schedule but I think for now I think a lot of people are just going to be like well you know the counting stats you know what I mean the total stats total receptions total TDs total yards and stuff like that will probably be chopped up a little bit by averages. Uh, Nikola Jokic goes to Denver. That'll be for Darren. The James Weissman uh, National Pride card will go to Nick Stover. Steve Birch gets the Patrick Williams Bulls. Ooh, looks like another Anthony Edwards coming up. Anthony Edwards. Is the record held by Michael Thomas? He had 149. That's the record? In 2019. Wow. Nick with Minnesota. And behind Paul Reed is Bradley Beal. Nice fast break autograph for the Wizards. Who's got the Wizards? Jesse with Washington. You're a wizard, Jesse. I can't imagine, Rex saying, I can't imagine they'd ever add baseball games, but do you think they could cut games at some point? Yes. I think they could. When did 162 start? In the 50s, maybe? 1950s? I could see them rolling it back to... I could see them rolling... Rolling back some regular season games and probably adding more playoff games. I mean, the... The league is already trying to trying to get more teams involved in the playoff action. So that ends up being just a lot of extra games players are playing. There's Nikola Vucevic, 20 out of 20 for the Bulls, Steve Birch. So in exchange, they probably the players would probably ask for, hey, how about some less games, you know? I mean, the wear and tear obviously isn't as bad as like the NFL, but nevertheless, still, still, still wear and tear. Behind KG is a variation. Nice. Onyeka Okongwu. Nice. He what, what was his full stat line today? I think he had a pretty decent game today. 
13 points, 8 rebounds, a few assists, a steal, a few blocks. It's pretty good, helping his team win 98-96 over the Sixers. John Collins at 17 points, Cam Reddish 18 points. Is Trey Young injured or protocol? The double digit points from a lot of different players. Skylar Mays with 14 points. Diang with 12 points. Bogdanovich with 15 points. Lance Stevenson putting in 11 minutes of work. He's back. Anthony Davis and the blue DeMar DeRozan, 66 out of 85. There you go, gang. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. That was a quick, uh, that was a fast, fast break break. Two box, random team break number three. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next Hoops Break. Bye-bye.